Welcome to Flip It Furniture. My name is Amy, and today I'm participating in a challenge hosted by Lemons to Lemonade. They are a furniture flipping family based in Texas. They paid off all their debt by flipping furniture. You have to go check them out. So in today's challenge, we got to pick whether we wanted to do a fall theme piece, which would be like cozy fall colors, or do we want to do a spooky Halloween theme piece? Can you guess which theme I chose for this challenge? I chose Halloween. Of course I chose Halloween. I can't resist a theme. How do you paint a piece of furniture that is spooky, <laughs> but also sells, right? So that's the challenge for me, for sure. I went to the thrift store and I'm looking and I'm looking, I'm trying to find the perfect piece. And I came across this jewelry armoire. The first thing I thought about was Hocus Pocus, the movie, the Sanderson sisters. I think that Winifred Sanders would hold her secrets and her magic and her amulets and her jewelry in this jewelry armoire. So that's my inspiration for this piece. When you finish watching this video, be sure to go in my description box because I'm gonna leave a playlist to all the videos of all the other participants that joined the challenge. You can watch all their videos. I can't wait to see them myself. <laughs> I started cleaning this piece with Dixie Belle's White Lightning Cleaner. I added a tablespoon of the powder mixture into about a gallon of water in a bucket. Then I took an old t-shirt and I scrubbed the whole thing down. And when I was finished, I just went over it with a wet rag with water, just to make sure I didn't have any cleaner residue on my piece. Now the top of this is really wobbly. So I was inspecting and the screws are stripped, so they're not even working. Only one of the screws was working. So I removed the screws and I had to add a one that was a little bit thicker. I ended up replacing two out of the three screws and then it worked like brand new. I'm using Dapp's plastic wood. It's just wood filler. These edges are a little chewed up looking. They're not actually chewed up but they're, they're, somebody had used this a lot, so it's just kind of worn out. So I wanna reinforce them, and I'm just gonna place some of this on, nice and smooth, let it dry, and then I'll come back and sand it later. Also, a little piece um, where the drawers go fell off. <laughs> it cracked while I was cleaning, so I'm gonna fix that. I'm just using some tight bond wood glue and a clamp. I'm replacing the hardware, so I need to remove the old hardware. And as you can see, the screws aren't there in the back because of the material. So I just take my razor blade and I'm gonna cut that material right out. I'm just being careful not to like rip it all up because I'm, I'm gonna glue it back when I'm done. They needed a little tap. They needed some help coming out. <laughs> so I just used the back of my screwdriver. Our wood filler is dry and we are just gonna sand it nice and smooth so that we can prime this piece. And the reason I'm priming the piece is because I did, like I said, I got it from the thrift store so you never know where it came from. And I would usually prime it with my Dixie Bells Boss but I did have um, Zinzer's one, two, three, primer in gray. And since I'm painting it black, I thought that would be perfect. And then just for the little details, I used my Dixie Bell's Boss in gray. I'm drilling new hardware holes right in the center of the previous two hardware holes. And then I'll fill those with some wood filler. I'm painting this in Dixie Belle's caviar and I flip it upside down so that I can paint the legs first. It's just much easier that way so that I don't miss any spots. Thank you. 
I applied two thin coats of caviar to the entire piece. My piece is still wet in a few spots with the caviar, but I'm adding some of um, Dixie Belle's aubergine to the raised details. I'm just gonna dry brush that a little bit of it on. Not a lot, I don't wanna cover it, and it's not gonna show a lot, but it's just going to give it a little glow. Now that everything is dry, I'm using Varathane's water-based polyurethane in satin on the entire piece. Add about five coats waiting for it to dry in between coats, and it takes at the most 10 seconds to get one coat on. Now for the really fun stuff, I'm using Posh Chalk Metallic Paste in Carbon Black. This is a stencil I ordered from a shop on Etsy, and I'll leave, I always leave all the products that I use in the description box below. Some are affiliate links and some are not. I just put everything that I'm using so you guys can see or order the supplies. This is a raised stencil, but with this Posh Chalk textured paste, we're gonna make it a 3D raised stencil. Right now, I'm just adding a layer with my putty knife on over the stencil nice and smooth. Then I just loosen my tape up a little bit. Now I'm ready to remove the entire stencil. So here we have a regular raised stencil, but I wanna make it extra special. So I'm gonna use a heat gun. I just have this crafting heat gun that I got from Amazon. I let it heat up for about 60 seconds and then I put it up to the chalk paste and it makes the chalk paste pop. So you can see it raising right there. So it kind of turns into like a 3D effect. I love this so much. I love the fact that it pops <laughs> and I love the colors. I ordered four more colors. So you guys are definitely gonna see this again in some upcoming videos. I added this raised stencil to the top of the jewelry armoire and to each side. So there's three of these on the entire piece. Look at that, it's so cool, I just love it. Remember what it looked like before? And here's what it looks like today. This was completely different from anything I've ever done. It's definitely sort of like a goth glam look and I, I love it. I think that Winifred Sanders from Hocus Pocus would love this piece. And I'm super happy to say that the challenge was accepted. I already have a customer for this piece.
Don't forget to check out all the other channels videos. I'm leaving the playlist in the description box below. Thank you to Lemons to Lemonade for hosting this challenge. Be sure to check out them as well. They are also in the challenge. And don't forget to subscribe if you like this video. Hit the like button, let me know.